basically for the Nigerian oil sector, in 2019, we should be expecting a relatively higher performance compared to 2018. And I'll give my reasons. Number one, you have to look at oil prices. Number two, you have to look at production. Now, for you to have a higher oil revenue, these two keys are very, very important. For oil prices, it's beyond our control because it's determined majorly by the international oil market, which basically controls the price of crude oil, or bent crude, which is the benchmark for Nigerian crude oil. For oil production, that is within our control, and that is where Nigeria can really do a lot to step up revenue. Now, what do I mean? In 2019, we should be expecting Egina to come on board. Egina is expected to add 200,000 barrels of crude oil to the ones we have on ground already. And also in 2019, we are seeing relatively more of IOC is moving towards offshore rather than onshore. Now on offshore, there are lower rigs there, there are higher oil, oil productions, and so we should be expecting relatively higher performance in 2019 in terms of production compared to 2018. Now for oil prices, oil prices is majorly determined by volatility in the oil market, and so that is basically within, is not within our control. Containing the Agena project, Agena is the first FPSO project run by Total in Nigeria. Now this production, this Agena project is expected to bring in 200,000 barrels of crude oil added to Nigerian coin oil production. This Agena is a bit unique because it's majority of Nigeria's current oil production are onshore. And when you look at onshore, onshore has its advantage and has its disadvantage. For onshore, it's exposed to militant attacks, it's exposed to you know, so much environmental hazard that easily affects, that can easily fluctuate the prices or the production of crude oil. For Egina, Egina is coming offshore, and offshore is relatively on the sea, so meaning lesser risks to militant attacks and lesser threats to oil production. So the Egina oil production is relatively expected to add in more oil production to Nigeria's crude oil. In 2019, we should be expecting a very good oil prices. I mean good in the sense that we should be expecting oil prices within the range of 70 to 75. Now, thanks to volatility in the oil market, now two factors always play a key role in oil prices. Number one, you have to look at activities in the Middle East. Anytime there is violence in the Middle East, anytime a country, a major oil producing country, is going through one challenge or the other, it always have an impact on international oil prices. Also, if you look at what we should be expecting from the US in terms of how they are going to be playing out their foreign policy in 2019. I mean, it also says a lot that should be happening to oil prices. We are looking at more tariffs coming, we are looking at more sanctions coming, we are looking at, you know, many things that would further expose oil prices to so much, to so much demands. And once these demands increases, there's every likelihood that oil prices is going to go up. The only problem we might have this year is yes, there may also be a problem of glut in the market thanks to the shale oil producers who are also been who are also been expected to increase production and Russia as well. But thanks to um, I mean for us in Nigeria, we should be happy Russia is a member of OPEC. And since Russia is a member of OPEC, we should be expecting relative stability in the price of crude oil. Key major factors that lead to volatility in the oil market. One, you have to look at crisis within the Middle East. Number two, you have to look at the effect of the US sanction that is currently on and the threats it will have to the oil market. One thing is certain, once there is increase in demand, oil prices will go up. Another factor is when there is increase in supply, oil prices go down. Now what controls the demand for oil is when major oil consuming countries basically start demanding for more crude oil. And once this begins to happen, we should be expecting oil prices to go relatively higher. In terms of um, supply, we should also expect that once there is an excess supply of crude oil in the market, once there is a glut in the market, the prices will start going down. And once it starts going down, it portrays danger for Nigeria, danger for our economy, and danger for oil revenue.